Hey guys, um, I was asked by the Lord to make a video about His grace and His mercy. I have absolutely nothing prepared, so I believe that, you know, it's going to let the Holy Spirit to lead me to what I'm supposed to say and something that will bless you, convict you, um, help you come to the Lord if you're watching this video and you do not know Him, you're thinking about it, but it's not there yet. Um, first of all, God is love. He created love. That's why we love. That's why people have compassionate hearts because the Lord has implanted that that spirit, that character, into them. Um, at the same time, there was wickedness because it was you not know, our own decision um, to sin. Um, we were tricked into it, and it's been a virus that has been passed on. And you know that's why people are wicked. And but that's why Jesus came, you know, to earth to die for us, that we may be reconciled to that love that we had, to that perfect love. You know, um, our love, we love, but we don't love perfectly. At the same time, we might love someone, and then the person next to us, we might hate. Um, but God has the power, the ability to give us that love so that we may love others like He loves us. Um, the Bible says that um, he loved us first um, and all he wants from us is to come back to him he is our first love before before um, the things that entice us like TV sports whatever entices you draws you distracts you he was there before everything he was there before the creation of the world and he's coming back again concerning his mercy um, this Bible verse um, the gospel is um, per uh, the gospel is um, foolishness to those who are perishing. Um, this verse has been playing out in my mind for a whole week, and I've been witnessing to my friends almost more than ever this week. Um, it's just so close, and I know it's my duty. Um, the Lord has me reading Psalm sixty one every morning before I leave to school. Um, also, I want to. Uh, show you, um, hold on. I want to show you this book that I have, that I have been giving out to my friends. It's called The Life Book, okay, and it, it talks about, uh, the Gospel of John, Jesus' life, and the Old Testament, and it's a summary, an easy summary, but at the same time, what makes this book so cool is that inside it has notes uh -huh, of oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. yeah it has notes of people who have read the book and they have uh, been implemented in from the people there's five of them there is uh, from an atheist to a devout Christian and the opinions on the word of God I'm gonna read you like an example um, um, hold on. Uh, it's just a good, a good, um, it fits everyone's decision, uh, opinions about the word, you know, what we think about it, and, um, here on this page, on this side, I'm gonna read, uh, it says, uh, it was talking about Jesus, uh, turning water into wine it says uh, chapter 2 the first sign turning water into wine that's one of Jesus first miracles and it says everybody sets out to find to find wine first then after people have drunk freely they're inferior but you have kept the wa fine wine until now Jesus performed this first sign in Cana of Galilee he displayed his glory and his disciples believed in him after this he went to Capernaum together with his mother his brothers and his disciples and they stayed there only a few days and as a note right there see that one uh -huh, one of these people who no they knew about Christianity but they're not they don't understand it they don't understand the importance of it that with life um, says uh, okay let me get this straight one Jesus is at a party he's making wine hmm totally different than the Jesus I have heard about okay got me thinking so it's it opens up the minds of uh hmm maybe jesus is not this 
solid, hey, let's follow rules. And that's one important thing that has been bothering me a lot, like a lot this um, week. Um, today I witnessed, you know, the two friends who um, had their perspective on Christianity is so off and so set on rules that they don't see the freedom within it. Jesus died on the cross for us. We do not have to do it. And we're not condemned to hell. We have the freedom of liberty. Um, and we are free. We, we have the victory. But do not, they, they think that Christianity is a set of rules. It is rules. But it's to govern us, to help us lead in the right path. God is always there to help us. But the thing is like, oh, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Christianity, uh, Christians don't have life. They can't do this, they can't do that. I'd rather stick to my own. Um, but Jesus is freedom. He gives us freedom. He gives us liberty. We are not um, ba uh, ba uh, set in bondage to the world. And you know, I was trying to tell them, I was talking about the, about Jesus from the topic of Adam and Eve to incest and how they, or oh, how oh, incest is wrong, blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, this guy wasn't God's will at that time. How else were they supposed to produce? Um, how else were um, Adam and Eve's children supposed to produce? You know, God told Noah, um, uh, multiply. It told Noah's, uh, parent, uh, Noah's, uh, children. You know, uh, Seth, Jephthah, and Ham, uh, <laughs> um, multiply, you know. Um, but now incest is wrong because the gene pool genetics is going to cause more mutations and it's not moral anymore and God doesn't want that, you know, and... I talked to that about from Adam and Eve to incest to marriage to to even Halloween. Like, don't even get me started. I was telling them they were inviting me to go to this uh, community service thing to uh, engage with uh, senior citizens at a party through a Halloween party. I'm like, okay, anything that has to do with Halloween, sorry, I'm not doing it. I'm not taking part of it. They're like, oh my God, Silver, you're so like, blah, 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 blah. You like, set of rules. You have fun a little. I'm like, Sorry, Halloween is a demonic holiday. It's a holy day for those who are perishing. I as a person celebrate Halloween. I didn't think it was something bad. You know, I was young, you know. But now I see my eyes have opened. The Lord has opened my eyes. And, you know, people have eyes, but they cannot see. And that it annoys me so much. Um, and uh, I'm just going to give testimonies about my friends. About, you know, their minds. They're not... I need to pray. Let's continue to pray for those who we witness to, continue to witness to. Um, I was at lunch one day, and uh, I have lots, lots of atheist friends. I'm like, out of my friends, maybe only three of us are Christians that I know of. Um, and uh, one of them, um, one atheist, that uh, she's allergic to sulfur. So she believes that she's exempt from hell because she's allergic to sulfur. To sulfur. But at the same time, she and other people at the table are like, hell, the devil's name, I'm not going to say it. And they're like, yeah, hell, woohoo. And I'm like, oh my gosh, God. Just let your spirit implant in them, like, Father, show them, give them revelation of you. Like, Father, give them dreams and visions to know you for who you are, to, to feel your love. And you know, God's love is so liberating. And I'm just trying to help people understand that. Like, it's so liberating. It's not a set of rules. Jesus gives you the freedom to live. And you're going to live even more once you have set, you, he's set an example for you here. When you get to heaven, you are going to live. Just witness to uh, others about his word and his love. And he will give you the desires of your heart. He will bless you. He will reward you. And that's exactly what I'm doing. It's, it's, not, a, it's not an easy job. Trust me. It's very hard. I know you guys feel the same way too. I've been suffering so much really trying to witness to my friends, but sometimes I have to let um, the Spirit convict me to give this book to someone. Go on the website, you can find this, you can get these for free. I don't know how my youth pastor was able to do it, but there's a digital uh, version that you can send to people. So I um, just wanted to say that, um, seriously, the gospel is foolishness to those who are passion. Christianity is not a set of rules, it's, it's liberating. Jesus came to set us free. Those he has set free are free indeed. And I'm going to say glory, hallelujah, I am free indeed. I am not set in bondage to the devil's um, schemes and plans. And I pray that you are not also. 
um, Jesus is coming very soon and he loves you. He has grace, unending grace, mercy on us. If he didn't, all what I've done, I've gone to bed because I would be going to hell anyways. Um, but Jesus came to die a grueling death for us because he loved us. No one else can do that. He went to uh, walk through hell for three days and rose up again. The Pharisees beat him down. They tried to kill him. They finally did. But now he's risen again because Jesus is Lord. Our finer minds cannot understand how the God of the universe who hangs the heavens and the earth was able to find himself into a womb of a young girl, Mary, and come live on earth for 33 years, die for us, and go back to heaven and say he's coming back again. That is a great God, and not, people don't believe that. <laughs> but I'd rather believe in the gospel and be wrong than to not believe at all and go to hell. I'm just saying. Um, but I truly believe it because he's revealed himself to me. There's no one on earth who has not heard about the gospel. Um, you're going to hear about the gospel. Everyone's going to hear about the gospel. Um, you're going to get a chance to... No, that's the freedom about Christianity. You have free will. You get a chance to, to give your life to him. Jesus is Lord. He's Savior. And he is mighty to save. And he's coming back again. Um, don't be shy to spread the gospel. Let the Holy Spirit to lead you where you're supposed to go. Um, God bless you. Um, continue to pray for people. Um, the world is turning darker and darker. And on my Facebook, I made this status saying... Um, the world is falling apart, and if you can't see that, you're falling apart too. Um, it's really true. Um, that's the whole plan of the enemy, to blind you and get you to plan and plan and plan and plan for, uh, and get your mind off the Lord, and so that you your mind is off his coming. And, you know, Jesus is not looking for that. He wants you to, like, give full surrender to him, uh, surrender your life fully to him, and fill your oil lamp, and um, stop being yourself to him so that he can use you to reach other people who need his love. There are a lot of people who do so many things, kill themselves, suicide, just because they have not found love. There's lots of kids in my school, you know, doing bad things because they have not found love. They're dating this guy, and then the next week they're dating this guy, and the next week they're dating this girl, and this and that and that, and blah, 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 blah in high school, and oh my gosh, face palm. Like, I'm like sitting here, like, what more can I do? You know, they're doing this, I believe they're doing this because they have not found the true meaning of love. And once you find love, which is Jesus Christ, you have everything, seriously. If you have, if you're a millionaire, you know, but you don't have the Lord, you are broke. <laughs> you are broke. I'm telling you, um, Jesus is your everything. And when you come to understand that, you truly believe, you know, all I'm telling you. Jesus, when I think about him, he makes me absolutely happy. Now, I'm so thankful that he re revealed himself to me. And I just pray that, you know, he's able to do the same for you. Um... Hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope anything I've said blessed you.